Hi, I'm Jesse Griffiths. I am the chef owner of Dai Due here on Austin's east side. I'm also the head instructor at the New School of Traditional Cookery and the author of the upcoming hog book, uh, which is a recipe that we're going to feature today. We're gonna make some wild boar scotadito. So we're using wild boar chops today. Uh, these came off of a, a pretty decent sized uh, wild pig. You could absolutely use lamb chops for this recipe. And in fact, lamb chops are the traditional uh, protein in this preparation. Uh, I love wild boar, obviously, uh, and so we've got these long bone chops cut into little single bone sections. So this marinade is a classic Italian marinade for this dish. You know, a little bit of oil, a little bit of chili, a touch of acid in the form of vinegar. It's also going to have a lot of garlic and it's also going to have anchovies. And those anchovies are going to add a certain salt uh, and umami to it. They don't come out uh, tasting fishy at all. So for this dish, we're gonna need a very hot fire. Uh, just one zone, all hot. I've got my bottom ventilation wide open. I've got about one chimney worth of lump charcoal in there. And then just a few chunks of oak and mesquite. Doesn't really matter, just some kind of hardwood. I've got the, the uh, standard grate on there. And then I've got those other thicker grill grates that I've got inverted for the flat side. And that's gonna enable me to cook the eggplant and the tomatoes on there without worrying about them falling through the grates. And I've got kind of a secondary little zone over here that's also very, very hot. So I've salted this eggplant a little while ago to get a little bit of the moisture out. And then I hit it with a bit of vinegar and a bit of olive oil. And then I'm just gonna start dropping tomatoes on here too. And then I'm also gonna throw a lemon on there so we get some nice smoky lemon juice that we can just squeeze over the whole thing at the end. Check those, make sure we're doing okay. Oh yeah, it's looking really good. All right, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of marinade on top. These are cooked. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer over to the platter. Most of my coals are kind of in a little square right here. And that's gonna, that's gonna give me a, a really even, very hot heat right there. And then I'm just gonna start laying my chops down, listening for that awesome sizzle that we want and that smell. We've got some good char going. I'm gonna go ahead and just start flipping. I am looking for a lot of, of nice char. These are ready. They are nicely charred on both sides. Drop some tomatoes on there. These are nice and saucy, so they will essentially act as a little bit of a sauce. And I wanna finish these up with some fresh herbs. Yeah, so, I mean, still pretty hot, burning fingers, just like it's supposed to be. Uh, nicely charred. Oh. You get the marinade and the herbs. It's seasoned nicely. A lot of that thanks to the anchovy. Um, tender, and you still get a little bit of chewy rib meat on there. Good, great stuff. Link to the recipe online, um, and this is also going to be found in the hog book.